Hey, what is up everyone? Here's how to set up Ticket Tool in your Discord server. So for us to get this done, I want you to head over to the official Ticket Tool website. It's this one right here. It's TicketTool.xyz. Once you are here, just go ahead and click Invite Ticket Tool. And then from here, I want you to go ahead and select your server. So I'm just going to use this server right here. I'm going to click Continue. And then I'm just going to authorize this one. Then from here, we're going to go ahead and just verify that we are human, just like so. And then let's go ahead and check it. All right, so we have successfully done this one. Let's head back here. We can just go ahead and uh, close this one. Let's go back to a ticket tool. All right, here we're going to go ahead and click the dashboard. So we're going to click log in with Discord and make sure that you are using the right account. So, yep, there you go. So this is the one that we're going to be using and then from here, we're just going to go ahead and manage that server. And I'm going to go ahead and open my Discord once again. And then from here, we're just going to go ahead and open the server settings. And oops. All right, there you go. And I'm going to go ahead and click the roles. And here you have the ticket tool. So make sure that it's just above most of the roles here. I usually try to put it behind most bots. And then from this point forward, we're going to go ahead and create a staff role. So I'm going to go ahead and click this one right here. I'm going to go ahead and, and name this one support staff, just like so. I'm going to use yellow for this one. And then I'm going to go ahead and click save changes. And after doing so, we're just going to make sure that these two are disabled here. And in the permissions, I'm going to hit clear permissions. All right, it seems like it's already done because we can't click it any longer. And then we're just going to go ahead and try to put this one just below our bots. So this is the bot here. And then this is the ticket tool. Just go ahead and make sure that that is how it is. And then from this point forward, we're just going to go ahead and create a new category. And I'm just going to go ahead and call this support just like so. And then we're going to make this private. I'm going to go ahead and click next. All right, and then from here, you want to make sure that you include the roles who wants to be able to access this one. So I'm going to go ahead and give this to the ticket tool itself and the support staff. If you have members, admins, or moderators here, you also include them in this particular list. And members also say, for example, you have given membership or uh, how can I say uh, members through reaction roles, go ahead and include them in here. So I'm going to go ahead and click create category. All right, and now we have the support category in here. And then from here, I'm just going to right click it and then we're going to go ahead and edit the category. All right, and now when we are here, we're going to open the permissions and then we're going to head over to advanced permissions. After which I'm just going to go ahead and select everyone. And then we're going to go ahead and scroll down. We're just going to enable one thing in here, the read message history. So I'm going to click this and then I'm going to click save changes, close this one. And then from here, we're just going to go ahead and add a channel, a text channel, of course. And I'm going to go ahead and write here, support ticket, just like so, and then click create a channel. All right, so now we have created this one. We're going to head back here, all right. And then from here, I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that we select the panel configs. We're going to go ahead and create a new one. And we're just going to go ahead and call this one support ticket. And then I'm going to click create. And then from here, we're going to head over to the general. All right, now that we are here, we're going to head over to support team roles. Um, the one who is going to be answer is going to be the support staff. That's why we have chosen the support staff. And then from here, I'm just going to close this one. And then we're going to head over here again to panel configs. I'm going to click the category and here on the create category or open, I'm going to click this and we're going to choose support. So basically that is what we have chosen earlier. So I'm going to save this. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this once again. And then from here, we're going to head over to messages and then I'm going to click edit panel message. And then we're going to go ahead and click the embed editor. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and try to utilize this one here. But yeah, basically make sure that you are going to change this according to your needs. After doing so, I'm just going to save this one here. And then we're just going to go back here. And then from here, we're going to head over to permissions. I'm going to go ahead and click the edit open under ticket owner permission. And then I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and we're going to go ahead and look for a read message history. This one, I'm going to enable it and then I'm going to save it again and then go back to panel configs. 
And then from here, we're going to go ahead and click the send button here at the top. And then we're going to choose the support ticket channel in here. And this time we're going to go ahead and click the send button. All right. And then let's go ahead to our discord server once again. All right, so we have now created a ticket here. And yeah, from here, say for example, members are going to create a ticket. All they have to do is just click this one right here. And when they do so, you will notice that there's something here that is going to be added. So yeah, and say for example, the staff member uh, wants to close this one, they will be able to do so. Just go ahead and click this one and then confirm it once again, just like so. And yeah, the support staff will be able to open the transcript as well. Go ahead and click this one right here and then click this once again. Now go ahead and visit the site and you should be able to see here the transcript. So in this case, we have done nothing. So that's why we're not seeing anything in here. And congratulations, everybody. That is how you're going to do it.